and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. This is the first 15, a video series in which we look at the first 15 minutes of gameplay of a given game. And this is part 21 of our look at rally related video games. Today's video game of the rally variety is WRC7, the official game. Now I've played a bit of this, a couple of hours worth, but I thought I'd bring you a video of it uh, to add to the ever increasing playlist what you probably found this video within so this is episode 21 episode 20 was dirt 4 and uh, if you just go back along the list you will find a variety of rather marvelous and not so marvelous games so what I'm gonna do I've got a timer in front of me as per usual with this series what I like to do I like to press start on a timer I have next to me as soon as we partake in actual gameplay so I've already started a solo career so what we're gonna do is hopefully we're going to yes we are we're gonna do a brand new career just so you can see what you get with your first 15 minutes uh, so what we're gonna do we're just gonna type in a name it doesn't really matter I forgot to do a capital letter Oh my god. Uh, and then what we will have is. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons because I'm kind of an idiot massively. Jamie. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to teach. Yes. Ecuadorian. No. I want to be British. There you go. Uh, Semi pro. Medium. Start career. First contract, junior WRC. We can pick a number of contracts here, and it says which rallies you get to compete in. Uh, Tour de Course is the first rally. Uh, so Ford Fiesta R2 is both of them. Uh, in fact, there's three, and they're all Ford Fiesta R2. Uh, I'm going to pick... Well, uh... I mean, let's just do this one, I suppose. Confirm contract. Let me know if you've played WRC 7. There's quite a lot to this. I mean, you can you can repair your car and do all sorts of stuff. And there's all hints and tips and tricks. It says there down in the bottom left-hand corner, in the opening stages of the season, there is still a lot of work to be done. And we wonder if Jamie TGS can shine. Well, I doubt it very much. This is um, a lot harder than Dirt 4. I tell you that much. Uh, so we can flick around in our little pit area here. There's tons of stuff. So I'm going to press start and get on with this Che Guevara Tour de Course 2017. La Porta Valle di Rostino. I'm assuming that's exactly how it's pronounced. Right. As I said, I've got my timer in front of me. This game does look pretty. Here we go. 100% tarmac. That's good. But I'm starting my timer. 3, 2, 1. Now. I've started my 15 minute countdown. I am in cockpit mode. There does appear to be a slight washed out look to it, and that's because the sun is blazing. And you can see that when I go through some shade, the, the tree branches and whatnot uh, flicker across the windshield. Now here's something to note. Those of you who've just come from my... Sorry, I'm not really hearing the co-pilot, the co-driver's announcements here. Those of you who've just come from my Dirt 4 video, you're in for a bit of a shock. You see, these tracks are effing long. The Dirt courses, the Dirt 4 courses, were completed very, very quickly. So I anticipate in this gameplay I'll probably only be able to do two actual races in the uh, first 15, as it were. Let's uh, listen out for some of these commands here. So far, so good. Reasonable driving. 
hasn't got Nicky Grist on uh, comms, but I think he's Codemasters exclusive or something. There's a wall there. I'm not sure. Nice enough damage model. This, my number one problem with the WRC series is through the years, and they are making them annual releases at the moment, uh, they're very hit and miss. Like, five was absolutely hammered by everyone. Everyone hated it. They, uh, they panned it. And uh, then six came out. Six was really rather good. And uh, seven came out. Or did it? I mean, we don't even know, because there was no publicity surrounding WRC7. None at all. I look out for rally games, and I am actively searching for them, obviously. And uh, I didn't even know that this had touched down in retail. How bad is that? So I don't know who is currently doing the PR for this, but they're not doing an effing good job, are they? because I would have bought this day one, I'd have pre-ordered it, I'd have tried to chase it down for a free copy, I don't know what I'd have done, but I'd have been actively all over this. As it turns out, I bought it several months late, I still haven't heard anything about it at all, not been in the gaming media, it's not been, it's, it's just not been well, uh, well announced, so... I'm experiencing this game blind. I was all up on WRC 6. I was there uh, when it launched. I was watching the eSports of WRC. I think it's an absolutely cracking franchise. If you're not into your eSports but you want to watch eSports, if that makes sense, check out the WRC eSports. Very, very good. At WRC 6, I managed to get myself into the top 10 on time trials for one particular circuit. Um, I was in the top 10 for a solid week, and then slowly, slowly, I just started dropping down the places week after week, one place at a time. I think I'm still in the top 50 on that particular circuit. I haven't played WRC 6 in probably over a year now. So I've probably well and truly dropped off the leaderboard now, but I love WRC 6. Absolutely love it. They changed it up so much from uh, WRC 5, which was a steaming pile of shit. So uh, there we go. Some say this is even better than WRC 6. I'm, I'm basing that solely on Steam reviews that I've looked at uh, just before making this video. But I enjoy this game. It's pretty fucking hard going on my graphics card. But it really does look the mutts nuts. I'm playing with a wired controller in my PC. Uh, one that I think lends itself beautifully to racing games. I will be doing a review of it imminently. Uh, so keep your eye out over the next few days on our YouTube channel for a new controller review. And, uh, you'll see what I play my racing games with presently. Now, I do own a G29 steering wheel, which is compatible with PC and PS4. And um, I daren't use it for this game, fuck, because... just because of that, really. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to play rally games with the controller and you'll notice if you do watch the eSport of WRC you'll see in the top 10 um, the top 10 players will all sorry that was a, a tough one top 10 players will all use controllers yeah right you can frown at it all you want but you know it's just it's a lot more accurate get a lot more out of the game it's not as fun damn, damn right but it's a lot more accurate. A lot more precise, I should say. Accurate. Precise. And we still have 9 minutes 10 seconds. Boom. Where did I come? First place. Don't know how. I felt like I did very shit. Okay. 
Number two, day session number two, day one. And it's night time. Oh, here we go. This is exciting. Here we go. It's dusk. It's dusk. It's not strictly night time. Again, uh, I've chosen cockpit cam, my preferred view point. Wow, look how gorgeous this looks. I think this uh, really comes into its own at night time in cockpit mode. You'll see what looks like emergency lights coming on. You'll see an orange flashing. That is the backfiring. Uh, the, the exhaust. There you go, lighting up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I tend to choose cockpit mode just because I find that I'm a better driver in cockpit. It took me a while, it did take me a while to learn how to use cockpit, so anyone out there who's kind of new to racing games, maybe you're just using third person and maybe you're a bit like, oh shit, I, I don't know, I don't know how to, how to start with, um, with cockpit, it's, it's all a bit, it's a bit too much for me really. I mean, I felt the same way, and then I got myself F1 2016 when that first came out, and I was determined not to play that game third person. I, I wanted to feel uh, like a driver, so I, I installed my G29 steering wheel, I put it in cockpit mode, and I was absolutely dreadful for about three or four days. And then suddenly it clicked. And you go back to third person. Shit, you know. You go back to third person and you'll find very quickly that you can't actually use that mode anymore. There are certain games I, I prefer third person in. For example, arcade races. Uh, whoa, fuck, 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 shit, fuck. Uh, Forza. Forza Horizon, for example. Forza Horizon 3. Much better in third person. And things like... The crew much better in third person. They oh. Shh. Okay, we're gonna have to claw our way out of this, and um, we're gonna get a nine-second penalty. Let's reset. Seven-second penalty. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna have to do some some proper quick turns here. What was I saying? Third person. Yeah, just, just keep at it is essentially what I'm saying. I'm just waffling, I'm filling the air with my voice because that's what you're meant to do when you do videos. So, uh, this is what I'm doing. Oh, shh. So my monitor, hang on, I've got to press OK because my monitor wanted to shut down for inactivity. Right, there we go. This is all gone fucking wrong. Just keep at it. Moral of the story. You want to get good at something, keep at it. That is how I managed to get into the top 10 on the uh, time trials. On It was actually Faith, which is a Portuguese rally on WRC6. I told myself, I really enjoy this circuit. I want to break the top 10 and I want to stay there for a bit. So um, I played that one circuit for about four days. Uh, I think I, the highest position on the leaderboard I came was second global leaderboard. So it just shows practice makes perfect. Or at least it makes you a lot better than uh, than shit. Here we go. Leave me in the comment section below any uh, of your racing game achievements. In fact, not even your racing games. Just tell me of your video game achievements. Have you uh, topped any global leaderboards? Have you won any local or national or international gaming competitions? Let me know, man. I'd be man or lady. I'd be genuinely intrigued who uh, out there is a uh, NLG full pro gamer. I had my theories about three years ago 
I could beat the world record on the Tega Rally desert track. Sa original Tega Rally, not Revo or any of the reboots. Uh, on the original Sega Rally, either Arcade or preferably Sega Saturn. I honestly think I could get the quickest lap time on Desert Track. Fuck me. Just because I played it so, so much and I got to within about a tenth of a second, probably, uh, of that world record and I'd been playing it for about six hours solid. Just that one circuit. And I thought, no, this is, this is silly now. I'd need probably another five hours to work out how to shave off that, uh, that tenth and I just couldn't do it. So, uh, oh, fucking hell. So I decided uh, against it. Maybe one day, maybe one day when there aren't far too many other games that I need to get through. I'll, uh, I'll give, it, give it a few days just on Desert Track and I'll just hammer it. Feel free to uh, tell me your fastest lap times on Desert Track as well. You can dig out my memory card, my, my local save file, whatever it is. I can't even remember, it's been so long. And uh, you can compare lap times. I think the timer is going to go off any second now. I just, I have this bad feeling. Don't hit the crowd. One thing not to do when playing rally games is actually commentate at the same time because you can't actually hear any of the pace moves, which then put you at a distinct disadvantage. By making excuses, stating a fact, by making excuses. Whoosh, straight through. We've actually got one and a half minutes remaining. So that was a jolly good timing. There you go, sixth place. I gave up seven seconds falling off the uh, off the side there, plus about another five or six seconds being stuck on the side of the bloody cliff. So uh, let's have a look at a replay. And let's hide the interface just to see what the how the uh, replay cam looks in WRC7. Let me know if you pick this up. Does this look like your cup of char? Did you play WRC 6, 5, 4, 3, 2? Or any of the earlier iterations, maybe you had it on the PlayStation 2. Maybe you had one of the uh, more obscure WRC titles like Power Slides. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you had. I, I, I don't know. I'm not psychic. But yeah, this, I think I picked it up fairly cheap, although it has retained its value, as has WRC 6. But if you can pick up a cheap copy of either six or five do so uh, not five sorry six or seven i believe six has the does it have chinese rally in it and uh, i don't think that ever went ahead so uh, i think that's uh, a thing I, I might have made it up i don't know look how gorgeous this looks this is definitely the prettiest oh there goes my uh, my lights absolutely stunning so that is episode 21 of my look at rally games in the first 15 minutes. If there's any rally games that aren't on this playlist that you would like me to play, please do leave them in the comment section below. I want to hear what I'm not playing, what I'm missing out on. I need your opinions. I've got tons more rally games lined up. Crunch, there you go. And that lovely noise. Is our 15 minute timer. So, I've been Jamie. This has been WRC7. Remember, if you want to hey, if you want to see us playing, or me particularly playing racing games live, do drop us a follow on Twitch. Our address is TGSHD every single Sunday. Jeez, man, vertigo. Every single Sunday. We play racing games. That doesn't mean we won't be playing racing games at other times during the week, but Sunday is dedicated to a racing game or two. So thanks for watching, everyone. And until the next time, keep safe on the roads. And try not to drive like a maniac. Thanks. Bye-bye.